divided down its middle by central, Shueshan, Alishan, and Yushan Mountains. Rivers in Taiwan mostly flow easterly or westerly. Owing to topography, Taiwan's rivers flow quite rapidly. Besides the many natural waterways, ponds, lakes, and canals have also been dug for irrigation. These bodies of water form a complex and diversified aquatic environment. Moreover, Taiwan's mountains create numerous isolated aquatic ecosystems, allowing fish and other freshwater life to diversify. There are more than 220 species of freshwater fish in Taiwan. Among them, more than 30 are unique to the island. It's amazing that such a small island nurtures such a variety of freshwater fish in terms of variety per unit area or the ratio of unique species. Such richness is truly a treasure for the residents of this lovely island. Let's begin our exploration upstream, where the waters are less polluted. The water temperature is approximately 15 degrees Celsius, with rapid flows and high levels of dissolved oxygen. The fish here have taken forms suited for high flow speeds. Some have compressed bodies, while others have flat heads or bellies. Taiwan trout, otherwise known as the Li Shan trout, or the Bunban, is currently found in the Qijia Wan and Shueshan Creek areas, Wuling, Heping Township, Taichung County. It is now a rare species, living in creeks below 17 degrees Celsius, that prefers cool, clear, and high-quality water. The adult has a yellow-black or yellow-brown tone, with a black-brown head, green back, and silver belly. Peach-colored spots are often found laterally, which is why the Japanese call it the cherry blossom salmon. This species has developed into a species of landlocked salmon, which feeds on aquatic insects like mayflies, plecopterans, madreporans, midges, and lafariserans, and terrestrial insects like bees and ants. If you watch closely, you may see this fish jumping out of the water to catch insects. It breeds from October to late November. During this period, Taiwan trout looks for areas with small rocks and pebbles and slower water flows to lay its eggs. Before Taiwan trout reproduces, it stops eating. The male turns darker, while the female turns yellow. The male also begins fighting, both for territory and female partners. The female begins searching for suitable hatching grounds. It cleans a site by turning its body sideways and fanning the sand away with its ventral side. Cleaning the sand out of the gaps between the stones prevents the eggs from being suffocated. The male patrols the hatchery site, guarding the eggs from other fish. When the other fish swim by, the father attacks, using its mouth as a weapon. This ensures safe growth for the hatchlings, which need two years to grow into adults.
Crossostoma lacustra lives mainly in clear, unpolluted waters with medium to large boulders in the upper streams of northern and central Taiwan. It is roughly tubular with a depressed head and compressed tail. Its body is built to resist flow without stops. It is frequently seen in slow streams. In swift streams, it hides in the gaps between boulders. It loves cool waters. It is benthonic, so you often find it sticking its body and chest abdominal fins on cool rocks. Algae, organic scrapes and water insects are its favorite foods. Living mainly in the rushes of mountainside creeks in eastern Taiwan, Hemimizen titanjensis loves to swim between medium to large boulders. It is exclusive to eastern Taiwan, with broad chest fins extending slightly to the two sides. It is grayish black with a flat body, and its special chest fins allow it to stick tightly to rocks. It resists strong rushes and feeds on stone clinging algae water insects, and plant scraps. Sinogastromyzen puliensis lives a midstream in rushing waters. Its chest and abdominal fins extend to the sides like fans. It feeds on algae or organic scraps in the gaps of stones. Sometimes it eats micro insects in the water. It is fickle in terms of dissolved oxygen content, temperature, and water quality. Irregular dark spots are often found on the back or sides. It is also benthonic, often found sticking to flat stones with its body, chest fins, and abdominal fins. The middle and downstreams, 200 to 1,500 meters above sea level, have the most complex and diversified geological variation. They include shallow streams, deep currents, deep waters, and shoreside streams. This altitude nurtures the richest varieties of organisms. The dominant fish are Zacco pachycephalus and Candidia barbata, Bluish black stripes on the lateral sides identify Candidia barbata. It dwells in the midstream area where the water temperature is lower and the flows slower. It feeds mainly on water insects and algae. It may reproduce from March to the end of December. Candidia barbata reproduces intermittently, during which time the female searches for sandy grounds with slower flows for egg laying. Attracted by the female, the male begins courtship. When all is ready, the female will stop at its chosen hatchery site and lie flat on the riverbed. The chosen male will hurry to the female and lie gently on top of it. The fish excretes sperm and eggs simultaneously while stirring up the bottom of the riverbed. However, one unusual thing that happens is that nearby fish will rush in at the same time. 
Why do they rush in? Fish are sensitive to disturbances in the water, whether from dropped food or simple water stirring. Fish are habitual observers and food fighters. Another factor is that single males in the area will also excrete sperm to increase their chances of insemination. Females usually do not ovulate all at once. Each time a female mates, only a fraction of the mature eggs are laid. This method effectively disperses the risks and increases the chances of successful reproduction. Found mainly in the midstream of the Gaoping Creek of southern Taiwan and the Shogu Luan, Beinan, and Taimali Creeks of eastern Taiwan, Veracorhinus alticorpus is also plentiful in the Luye and Daluan branch sections of Beinan Creek. It is active during periods of high water levels and hides in deep ponds during dry seasons. It prefers cold, shallow water and has a short, small and round head with a slight bulge on its forehead. Its upper lip has a long fold and its small eyes have silvery eyeballs. It feeds on stone clinging algae and water insects. Monsoons often bring flash floods. These rushes of muddy water often wash fish downstream. However, Veracohemus altocorpus often returns to its original habitat. After the rain stops and the water clears, you may come upon an interesting sight. Countless Veracahemus albicorpus swimming and jumping upstream in the rushing water. The spring-summer transition is the reproductive season of Veracahemus albicorpus. Adults often come to the shallows near the shore to lay eggs. After the eggs hatch, the adults and the hatchlings move to shallow areas. The hatchlings often fall prey to other fish. Veracohenus alticorpus is smaller and therefore weaker in resisting currents. It chooses to live in shallow areas where calmer streams ensure its safety. Pebbles on the riverbeds and the undersides of stones are the perfect homes for algae and the feeding grounds for Veracorhinus alticorpus hatchlings. Veracorhinus alticorpus often shares its space with other species. In shallows or slow streams, its hatchlings often search for food among the hatchlings of Spinobarbus hollandii and Acrosochaelus paradoxus. Dwelling mainly in shallow or deep streams and deep lakes, Acrosochaelus paradoxus is natively widespread in the rivers of western Taiwan. However, it is now also found in eastern Taiwan, after introduction to that area. It hides in stone gaps during the day. Juveniles often swim between shoreside stones. It eats a variety of foods, including stone algae, aquatic insects, organics in riverbed mud. Acrosochaelus paradoxus is torpedo-shaped, but slightly compressed. 
Its head is medium large in relative size, with a bluntly round, slightly protruding mouth, and two sets of hair. It is yellowish green with a pale belly and seven black lateral horizontal stripes, most prominent in juveniles. Preferring the middle and downstreams, Zacco pachycephalus is often found in lakes and shallows where water flows are calmer. A mature male has ten lateral bluish-green stripes with tail fins sometimes striped. However, the stripes are not obvious in juveniles and females. Juveniles are omnivorous, feeding on algae, water insects and organic scraps. Adults are carnivores, feeding on water insects, small fish and scampi. Zacco pachycephalus is a swift predator, often found rushing or bouncing out of the water to catch its prey. Spring and summer are its reproductive seasons. It typically lays eggs in shallow water and has a complicated series of mating and reproduction activities. During mating season, the male often becomes territorial and guards closely its mate's hatchery site. When an outside male approaches, the father drives the intruder away and returns to the female immediately until reproduction is complete. Like Candidia barbata, immediately after mating, other fish flocks in the area will rush over. However, not all fish want to contribute sperm. Some just want to have a good meal. Eggs are good sources of protein. Many fish species are also found in the ponds and streams of Taiwan. Due to geographical isolation, unique species like Aphiocypris kikuchi and Pararaspora moltrecti have evolved. Aphiocypris kikuchi is mainly found in the rivers and lakes of eastern Taiwan, which includes the areas of Ilan, Hualien, and Taidong. It is yellowish brown with a horizontal dark blue stripe though the stripe is not always obvious and the side lines are often short and incomplete. It has an orange-yellow dorsal, anal and tail fins. Swimming in the midst of weeds and submerged objects, Aphiocypris kikuchi feeds on aquatic organisms and insects. It was once plentiful, but its numbers are decreasing sharply due to water pollution and competition from introduced species. Known to be in Taiwan for over a hundred years, Pararaspora moltrecti is native to Sun Moon Lake and its nearby waters. However, its habitat has completely disappeared from the lake in recent years. Found mainly in central Taiwan, it is a rare species nowadays. Field research done by the Endemic Species Research Institute of the Council of Agriculture has found traces of Pararaspora moltrecti in only a few rivers and creeks in Nantou County and Taichung County. However, no large clusters have been found anywhere. Pararaspora moltrecti inhabits calm waters like creeks, streams and ponds. It is omnivorous, with a dark green back, silvery body and belly, black crescents on its scales, and no mouth hair. Taiwan's fish are encountering the challenges of water pollution, land development, fishing, and foreign species. These problems are changing Taiwan's ecosystem. Conservation is urgent.
caring for and understanding our fish are the first steps to caring for our aquatic environment. Its well-being is closely related to the survival of aquatic organisms, especially fish. Fish need clean water. Many of Taiwan's precious creatures are aquatic, especially our endemic species. They only exist on this island, so if they are declared extinct from this island, they are extinct from the entire world. As a member of the Global Village, we have an obligation to protect the fish that share our home, giving them a good environment for sustained development.